We started the implant program here in 1980, and I was a fellow studying here with Dr. Huff. And uh, we had the opportunity of starting an implant clinic, and there was only one other one in the United States. You know, it was a highly controversial um, device at that time. There was a lot of people that thought it was experimental and didn't want to have it done. And then most people, most otologists realized that it would be beneficial uh, to the world and to the, uh, you know, deaf community should they desire an implant. And so one of the things we had to do is we had an agreement that we would not implant children. And actually, implanted children do better than adults, but nobody knew that then. So we uh, had to fight that battle slowly but surely with research. And when we started implanting children, it really worked. And of course, a, a child has to have hearing before the age of two or their brain doesn't develop for speech. So we really put implants in early today. And uh, so it helps children a lot. And so we mainstream children now with implants and they just do really well.